Guys, I've been feeling pretty lonely lately, I'm not gonna lie. I've been spending a lot of time in this studio just staring at computer screens and cameras. But I do have a silver lining update. I've been able to make a lot of new friends recently and I actually wanna, I wanna introduce you to them. Is that okay? The first one, her name is Billy. She is my local ride or die anytime I'm in New York City. Super cool girl. Next we have Amber. Amber is actually a detective. Isn't that so cool? If I'm in the mood to, you know, watch a game or talk some sports, I hit up my boy Brew. He loves hockey. He loves basketball. Most of all, football. So that's dope. And I know this might sound a little nerdy, but I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons recently. Whenever I get stuck on the Demigorgon, I hit up my boy, the Dungeon Master, and he knows exactly how to throw down. And lastly, in these hard times where we're looking for a little bit of comedic relief, I hit up my boy, Zach, because he always got jokes. Now, if you're looking at my group of new friends and you're thinking those people look oddly familiar, in fact, I think each and every one of them is a celebrity. You would be correct. Ding, ding, ding. And it's because celebrities are now working with Meta to create AI chatbot influencers on Instagram. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into this video, if you'd like to support the channel now that I'm independent, I have a Patreon. The link's in description down below. Sign up if you like it, if you like it, if you like. No pressure. Now, boy, do we have an update for you when it comes to AI programs. We've talked about AI on this channel many a time. One, from the perspective of it being a tool to really handle more of the tedious things that we do as human beings in our day-to-day -day life. And from the other perspective of it being a very scary thing that could possibly take over the world if we don't regulate it. But anyways, now we have a new feature. If you guys have ever been interested in talking to one of your favorite celebrities, you can now do so. They might not have the same name, but they will have their likeness and their voice, and you can chat to them through Meta now. Before we introduce you to some of these influencers, let's get a little bit of background on exactly what Meta is doing here with these celebrities. This article from CNBC says, Facebook parent Meta is reportedly paying millions of dollars to popular celebrities and social media influencers to use their virtual characters for the animated AI chatbots. The US tech giant is paying up to $5 million for six hours of work in a studio to such celebrities to create artificial intelligence characters based on the likeness of some of the most famous people, according to the information. And you will certainly recognize many of these celebrities. You've got Kendall Jenner, Paris Hilton, Tom Brady, Snoop Dogg, Mr. Beast, Raven from Love is Blind, <laughs> Dwayne Wade, and Charlie D'Amelio from TikTok. And if you're asking yourself, just how realistic can an encounter be with a celebrity AI chatbot? Let's watch a couple of their videos. This is Kendall Jenner, AKA Billy, your local ride or die in New York. Hey guys, it's Billy. I just want to introduce myself. I am here to chat whenever you want. Message me for any advice. I am ready to talk and I hope to talk to you soon. That's not creepy whatsoever. In the age of parasocial relationships that people already have with their celebrities without even being able to talk to them, imagine what the world's going to be like when now you have direct access to an AI configuration of the celebrities that you know and love. Now, why don't we check out a video of Tom Brady? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant brew. Me? I'm brew. And if you're looking to talk sports, you come to the right place. I don't like it. <laughs> It's weird because like, I wanna call it Uncanny Valley, but it's almost so complex and so well integrated that it doesn't even feel Uncanny Valley anymore. And just for giggles, let's listen to one more. This is Paris Hilton, AKA Amber the Detective. Suspicious. Hmm. Suspicious. Hmm. What? I don't know what's going on here, guys. All I know is that this is really strange. If this makes you feel weird watching these videos, it's because to me, it is weird. It's actually pretty genius. If you're not comfortable yet talking to an AI chatbot, you haven't quite checked out ChatGPT, or you don't feel like it's something for you, maybe slapping on the face of a celebrity will make you more comfortable in talking to an AI chatbot. Plus it's integrated with Instagram and Facebook. These platforms have billions of users. And if you're already using these platforms, why not engage with those celebrities and influencers in a way that actually gets you a response back, even if it's from an AI chatbot. It reminds me of a story that we may or may not have covered on this show about Karen AI. For those of you who are unfamiliar, I'm gonna introduce you to a young woman by the name of Karen Marjorie. Karen Marjorie is a 23 year old influencer who has more than 1.8 million followers on Snapchat. Now it's hard to engage with 1.8 million people. So Karen decided to make Karen AI. It says here, Marjorie created an AI chatbot designed to be an AI girlfriend. One that her followers
followers would pay $1 per minute to engage with. Thousands of hours were spent getting Karen AI to sound like her and mimic her personality. During a beta test of the AI girlfriend, Marjorie says she made more than $70,000 in one week. And she thinks the immersive AI experience could eventually bring in as much as $5 million a month. So this is a huge moneymaker. And if you can step out of the realm of influencers and get some of the biggest celebrities in the world to do this, why wouldn't you? They get a paycheck, you get to use their face and voice for two years. Ooh, I don't know if that's a balance deal, but it's a deal. I can't help but think I'm not the only one who finds this very, very strange. I did decide to look into some of the comments on Kendall Jenner's AI chatbot in particular. Let's just read a few. Sophie Berry says, this is honestly scary. Ziggy Starmaker says, all right, what the actual frick is going on? Novax Nino says, that is so creepy. I hope it's actually Kendall just saying that she's Billy and not an AI generated video because that's freaky as hell. And all of these comments have tens of thousands of likes. And it turns out that this isn't just Kendall Jenner saying that she's Billy. Meta has the technology to actually scan the likeness of these celebrities so that they can create these complex AI deep fakes. And it seems like for most of the contracts of these celebs and influencers, they will be doing so for the next two years. And all it took was these celebrities showing up to a studio for six hours. So no, it's not just Kendall Jenner saying she's Billy. It's an actual AI generated video that is just that convincing. Now I haven't taken it upon myself to actually try and message these AI chatbots to see how real they are. I'm sure somebody will handle that and use their time in that way. Not me. But I can't help but think we are ushering ourselves into a real life version of the movie Her. You know that one where Joaquin Phoenix falls in love with an operating system voiced by Scarlett Johansson? And if people can now do that on a mass scale, what does that mean for our world? We're already dealing with an epidemic of loneliness. I think I read a stat the other day that said 45% of men 18 to 25 have never approached a woman in real life. I can only imagine that technology like this is just going to lead to the proliferation of that problem. And of course, it's Mark Zuckerberg who's bringing us this technology. The man looks like he's in literal pain anytime he has a conversation with a real life human being. So it's no wonder that he's creating celebrity AI chatbots. But hey, this is the new world, right? You remember that trend that was going around a little while ago? Is it cake? Is it a real life object? Now you get to wonder, is it a real human being? Is it an AI chatbot? I love games. But in all seriousness, guys, I'm gonna be staying very far away from the celebrity AI chatbots. This has gone a little bit too far for me. And honestly, I'm just gonna be a spectator to see where this goes next. I'm sure soon we'll be able to upload ourselves and our consciousness into AI chatbots and make ourselves into enslaved virtual assistants. Or maybe soon we'll be able to replace all of our real life relationships with virtual ones. Aww. What's the use in talking to real human beings, right? Soon we will all be plugged into the cushy comfort of the matrix. And I guess cushy comfort looks like being surrounded by virtual friends like Kendall Jenner, Paris Hilton, Dwayne Wade, and Tom Brady. <laughs> But you know what? That's it for me, guys. The one thing that this story has made me want to do more than anything else is actually throw out all the equipment that I have in this room with me, step outside, lay in the grass, and never get up again. So on that note, I think I'm gonna get off the internet for now, and maybe you should too. But of course, after you leave a comment of your thoughts on this subject matter that we covered in today's video, plus like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every single day. We like to keep a bit of sanity in the clown world that we're living in right now. And hey, if you didn't like this video, maybe you can go check out my AI chatbot. Her name is Naomi. You can find her on Meta and have a good old conversation with her. Guys, I can promise you that will never happen. Thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better.